Hi there, welcome back for chapter 28. May's eyes were shut tight, the water pulling at her from all sides. It was like getting yanked along behind a boat after falling over a, on water skis. Only the boat wouldn't stop and the skis were half woman, half fish, apprentice, apprentice fairy queen. And then for some reason, the mermaid seemed to jump forward slightly as if she had gotten a burst of speed out of nowhere. Maybe they were close to where they were going. May opened her eyes but couldn't see anything above them as the water plowed into her face, so she glanced down instead. Just in time to see Jack falling back to the ocean floor. No, she screamed. No, Jack, what are you doing? Jack just smiled and then turned and swam down into the army of mermen, his sword lighting his way. No, May screamed again and then let go of Megan as well, only to have some idiot grab her hand. Princess, Philip said, dragging her along by her arm. Do not let go. May frantically tried to pull her wrist out of the prince's grasp, but he was too strong. Let me go, she screamed. Jack, he needs my help. Jack made his choice, Philip said. If the fairy queens are to survive, we must escape. No, May yelled, still fighting against Philip. Jack, come back. Trust that he knows what he's doing, Philip shouted at her. I don't trust him, May screamed, her eyes wild as she fought against the prince. He makes stupid choices when I'm, at, when I'm not around. He's going to get himself killed. Let me go, Jack. Just as she screamed, Jack plowed into Leanne, his sword striking hers, both glowing hot like the sun. No, she screamed again. And then a brilliant light exploded up at them, blinding May completely. Something rumbled ominously, and when May's vision cleared, she saw that the mermen were still on their way and Leanne was gone. But Jack's unconscious body was sinking right into the army of mermen. Jack, May screamed as the mermen below began attacking, throwing their tridents up, cutting through the water from all directions. One trident grazed Megan's tail and she shouted in surprise and pain, stopping just long enough for the mermen to close the gap even more. The mermen seemed to be on all sides of them, throwing tritons or just swimming toward them with the three-pronged spears. There, Megan, um, Megan shouted and pointed up. May followed her finger to see something huge blocking out the moonlight, like an enormous cloud cutting through the ocean. The sea grew darker and darker, the only light coming from below them as May and Philip readied themselves to fight, as much good as that do them. Behind her, Philip shouted, kicking at the mermen who grabbed his foot. Next to him, Megan ordered the soldiers away, but they ignored her, concentrating on taking May and Philip back dead or alive. This was it. They weren't going to make it. And then, like magic, a triton flew toward the mermen, slicing through the water from somewhere above them. It struck one in his arm, and the creature let go with a let out a horrible shriek. More tritons flew down from above, a few connected by large nets that surrounded and enclosed groups of mermen, weighing them down and dragging them to the bottom of the ocean. Even as May ga uh, gaped in surprise, a net came flying down at her from above. It caught her, Philip, and Megan inside it, and then immediately shoved them together and began pulling them all toward the surface with astonishing speed. Mermen around them tried grabbing for the net, but more tridents from above kept them at bay. Even while other nets filled with mermen dropped past them, May noticed for the first time that the tridents from the surface weren't the golden color of the mermen's. They were a dull, metallic gray. And then May, Philip, and Megan exploded out of the water, and the sounds of waves rigging and yelling filled May's ears. She pushed Philip out of her way just to get a look, and there was Bluebeard hanging from the rigging of the ship as his pirates aimed tridents at the mermen below. Bluebeard let out a roaring laugh. Ah, I love when me plans come together so easily. And I'll see you guys next time for chapter 29. Bye.